Welcome to my channel viewers please endeavor to like, share and subscribe so you will be the first to view latest informations. The same 12 months Donald Trump Jr. grew to be a spokesperson and executive director of world branding for Cambridge Who's Who, a conceitedness publisher in opposition to whom hundreds of fraud claims have been filed. He made a lofty pledge to construct millions of homes for the world's poor. That was the promise Trump Jr. gave in 2010, when he and a commercial enterprise associate launched their housing task to mass-produce and promote prefabricated homes. A prolonged new document from the New Republic outlines precisely how it all unfolded. To put it mildly not well, the Trump household is hardly ever recognized for its altruism, and it's no extraordinary surprise that Titan Atlas manufacturing ended in catastrophe and fuming creditors. In total, the New Republic was solely capable to discover a few homes that the business enterprise built, consisting of one for the mayor of North Charleston, South Carolina, a principal booster of the company, and a handful of kits the business enterprise dispatched abroad. Worse but have been the unfinished properties. As one company known as Tactic Homes describes it, unfinished is a huge understatement. Tactic Homes agreed to buy 36,000 houses from Trump Jr.'s company. In what would be the worst unboxing video ever if there had been cameras round to seize the horror, Tactic was stunned when they located the garbage kits inside. They had no windows, no doors, no cabinets, no plumbing, no electrical, no cables, no reinforcing bars. It may additionally come as a shock to Trump Jr., however even terrible human beings want doorways and electricity. Another purchaser who did commercial enterprise with Titan described Trump Jr. as a three-card Monty dealer, and former Trump fixer Michael Cohen shed some light on how the whole calamitous project got here to be. You understand why he ended up getting into this business, Cohen said. Because he desired to be his very own man. He didn't desire to be beneath the auspices or manage of his father for his total life. He desired to make cash on his own. He was determined to make cash on his own. And determined human beings do dull things. That newfound independence didn't last long. Just a few years later, Trump Jr. was a normal fixture on his father's reality TV exhibit The Apprentice. Then got here his involvement in the 2016 election, the Trump Organization, and the rest is a last history. On January 7, 2021, then-President Donald Trump launched a video the place he eventually agreed to the switch of power to Joe Biden. But simply two days after the video's release, Trump desired a do-over, in accordance to an unnamed supply who spoke to Rolling Stone. A supply stated that Trump desired to make a new video and double down on his false claims. The supply stated that Trump deliberate to without delay, assault Biden in the new video, and inform his supporters that he'd proceed war for them. Trump's push to supply a 2D speech countering the one he gave on January 7, got here amid an inner battle over his post-January 6 messaging, Rolling Stone's file stated. Sources have informed CNN that one of the solely motives Trump certainly made that video was aides warned him about the truth that his very own cupboard would possibly be getting ready to use the 25th Amendment to cast off him from office. The public ought to get a threat to hear outtakes from Trump's unreleased video at some point of Thursday's January 6 hearing. The committee additionally plans to focal point closely on Trump's inactiveness in the 187 minutes between his speech at the Stop the Steal rally and his afternoon message telling the rioters to go home. Two witnesses are anticipated to supply a live testimony at Thursday's session. Former Deputy White House Press Secretary Sarah Matthews and Matthew Pottinger, who served on the National Security Council.